Hi my dear students welcome back to my channel this is video series 8 where you will be knowing the multiple choice questions from the lesson control and coordination in the previous video series 7 i had posted 10 questions for the lesson control and coordination so this is a continuation for the same lesson so without delaying much let us start the session the first question in this session is which gland is both exocrine and endocrine and the options are option a liver option b thyroid option c pituitary and option d pancreas and the correct answer is pancreas see pancreas as an exocrine gland it excretes the enzyme to break down the proteins lipids and carbohydrates in the food when we talk pancreas as an endocrine gland pancreas secretes the hormone called insulin and glucagon okay and that is responsible for controlling the blood sugar level in the body of the human so it is acting as exocrine gland and endocrine gland as well whereas liver thyroid and pituitary gland they act only as endocrine gland not the exocrine so the correct answer is option d pancreas The next question is progesterone is secreted by and the options are option A testis option B thyroid option C pituitary and option D ovary and the correct answer is option D ovary because you all know testis secretes testosterone thyroid secretes thyroxin pituitary gland secretes the growth hormone but ovary which is found in the females they secretes a hormone called progesterone so correct answer is option d ovary the next question is islets of langerhans are found in and the options are option a spleen option b pancreas option c liver and option d pituitary gland and the correct answer is pancreas because see the islets of langerhans they are the one which is called as endocrine glands okay so they are the endocrine cells so they scatter throughout the pancreas so they are present in the pancreas but not in the spleen liver or pituitary gland so the correct answer is option b pancreas the next question is goiter is due to the hyposecretion of and the options are option a thyroxin option b calcitonin option c prolactin and option d insulin and the correct answer is thyroxin because when thyroid gland produces excess amount of thyroxin the person will be suffering from goiter okay and the glands which are present near the neck region start increasing in its size When we talk about option B calcitonin it helps in regulating the amount of calcium and phosphate in the blood and option C prolactin it is responsible for the production of milk so calcitonin and prolactin does not have any connection with the goiter whereas option D insulin is responsible for regulating the blood sugar level so the correct option is here thyroxin The next question is unit of impulse transmission is and the options are option A neuron option B nervous system option C brain option D spinal cord and the correct answer is option A neuron you all know neurons are nothing but the nerve cells right so nerve cells only will carry the nerve impulses so the correct answer is neuron the next question is the largest part of the brain is and the options are option a cerebrum option b cerebellum option c medulla and option d midbrain and the correct answer is option a cerebrum because you all know cerebrum is the largest part and it is a thinking part of the brain the next question is 
the part of the brain which controls respiration and the heart beat is and the options are option a medulla option b cerebellum option c diencephalon and option d cerebrum and the correct option is option a medulla because medulla oblongata is present between the pons and spinal cord so it is responsible for maintaining all the important functions such as breathing heart rate and all when we talk about cerebellum so cerebellum controls and coordinates the movement posture and balance of the body all those things and diencephalon is responsible for hearing vision smell taste and it also sends the impulses sensory impulses okay and you all know cerebrum is the largest part and it is also thinking part of the brain so the correct answer here is medulla the next question is the example of reflex action is and the options are option a heartbeat option b blood circulation option c sneezing option d all the above and the correct answer is sneezing you might have a confusion heart beat blood circulation sneezing all these are examples for involuntary actions why sneezing is reflex action because see sneezing can be considered as both involuntary action as well as reflex action because if something come in contact to us okay which we feel like sneezing suddenly we respond to that particular stimuli okay so sneezing is also considered to be reflex action the next question phototropism is regulated by and the options are option a oxygen option b zebulin option c cytokinin option d ethylene and the correct answer is oxygen it is because oxygen is responsible for various tropisms it reacts towards the condition of light gravity and water as well okay so the correct answer here is oxygen the next question is fruit ripening is regulated by and the options are option a oxygen option b zebulin option c cytokinin and option d ethylene and the correct answer is option d ethylene okay so ethylene is responsible for ripening of fruit oxygen zebulin cytokinin you already know the functions of it right so here ethylene is the correct answer and the next question is non directional plant movements are called option a nastic movements option b tropic movements option c cyclosis option d tactic movements and the correct answer is option a nastic movements see non directional movement is because of the nastic movements and directional movement is because of the tropic movements okay so the correct answer is option a here the next question is the correct order of sequence in a reflex arc is and the options are receptor sensory neuron motor neuron to muscle option b receptor motor neuron sensory neuron to muscle option c sensory neuron receptor motor neuron muscle option d muscle receptor cells motor neuron and sensory neuron and the correct option is option a receptor from receptor it passes through sensory neuron and then through motor neuron it receives to muscle so option a is the correct answer so that's all for this session in the next video series 9 i will continue with the 10 more questions from the lesson magnetic effect of electric current thereby i'll continue with other lessons as well If you found this video useful don't forget to share with your friends thank you so much for watching my videos